Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 10 of my full platinum walkthrough for Elden Ring. Uh, right, we're off to Kaelid, the red area that you've probably seen on Twitter or wherever else, people making fun of it and that they don't like it, but it's not actually that bad, to be honest, mainly because we're just going to run through it. But what we're going to do first is we're actually going to go and move this story on. It should be, you should be able to move this on at this point now. So if you go and speak to Fia again and then let her hold you, uh, there will be a new option now. So I'm just going to move forward because the animation is really slow. You will get a Balderkin's Blessing. Don't worry, we're going to use that later. But there, you'll get May I Ask for a Favour, which is her asking you for a favour. Uh, she's going to give you a dagger and she wants you, wants you to return it to its owner. So that's what we're going to do, the weathered dagger there. So I'm just going to skip this bit, but we're going to leave her clutches <laughs> or grasp or whatever you want to call it. Obviously it takes forever as well. And then we're going to return the dagger who is uh, for D. So I'm just going to use the uh, Balderkin's Blessing. I always have to leave the room. I feel like I, I have to <laughs> use it <laughs> to make sure she's not seeing me use it. It's weird. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it's D who you give the dagger to. So speak to him. Uh, there's going to be a whole thing about um, the dagger. So give him the dagger and she, he'll go through a whole uh, thing. I'm going to skip ahead, though. We don't need to watch that. And then we're going to refresh the area by uh, using the grace and then he'll be gone kind of not permanently but he's gone for now and if you run down here this door will now be open and then fear and a dead D so you're gonna get his bell bearing and his armor set which isn't actually too bad an armor set to be honest if you're able to use it then Maybe you want to switch to it. Actually, don't because, yeah, actually, don't do that. That's why we're doing this now. Uh, later on, you can, but you're actually going to hand the armor in uh, back to someone and then you'll get it back again later on. D right. <laughs> It'll make sense once we do it. But speak to um, Fia again and she's going to disappear and then uh, we will see her later on. Now, this is actually for a, um, a secret boss. That's what we're doing this for a missable boss. So just do that for now, and uh, yeah, we'll come back to that. Now, D, a long while ago, showed us on our map where a certain place was when we gave it, when we showed him that we had a death route. Uh, I'm just going to show you where that is. So if you come to the the church in East Limgrave, and then you head through the water, I'm going to show you where we are. There we are. And then there will be this teleport. So if you use this teleport, it's actually going to take us to one of the more dangerous places. Greyhold's Dragon Barrow, which is basically North Kaelid. It's really high level enemies in here. So don't fight that guy that's behind me. He will just annihilate you. Uh, and then go into here, and this is the Bestial Sanctum. There is a grace point here. Now, I don't use any of this. None of this is actually important to us at all. But if you want to use the Bestial Incantations and things like that, uh, then you can uh, come here and feed... This guy, I forget his name, we did mention it earlier. You can feed him the death roots, so give him the death roots. I think it's after about three, four or five, I think it's four or five. Uh, he does actually become hostile for a moment. You do have to fight him, but then he becomes unhostile again. Now, I've given him two, so he'll give you the bestial, um, the sling. Uh, is it the bestial sling or something like that? That spell, uh, that's an incantation. He'll give you a claw mark, which uh, boosts incantation through strength and bestial incantations, things like that, and a beast eye, which will um, vibrate every time a death root is nearby. Uh, yeah, so if you want to go through that whole line of weaponry and things like that, if you want to know where the death roots go, that's where it is. We don't need to do it, we're never going to go there again, but that's it. Uh, yeah, so I've come back to the Smouldering Church, and we're going to go and venture into Kaelid now, so this is where it sort of merges with um, East Limgrave. So we did go to that church, it's where that NPC attacked us, we marked it for this exact point, basically. Yeah, so we're just going to pretty much ride through Kaelid, we're not going to bother too much with it. There's nasty enemies like that horrendous crow up there, uh, they follow you down pretty quickly, they are relentless, even on a horse they'll track you pretty quickly. And now St. Butterfly, there's two crows down there, we're not going to bother. Obviously, if you want to go uh, exploring, be my guest. Some uh, bolluses here. So there are, you will notice there's some little um, enemies around 
little guys, uh, just the normal kind of zombie looking guys. Yeah, I mean, kill them if you want, ignore them, whichever. They're not particularly important. And then I'm going to jump over here. And there is a, a set of graves here. Uh, there is this, the slime on the floor, those things, they're the enemy here. They're very slow, you can obviously just walk through them, past them. Uh, just a golden rune, one, two, and three here. It's just, we're passing through, so I thought I might as well just grab them while, we, while we're here. No, nope, couldn't grab it as I walked past. <laughs> there we go. And then we're just going to go down the hill slightly here, and then overlook some other enemies here. I will bring up the cave in a moment on the map so you can see where I am. But we're just kind of following the line. So there's two enemies here. You can actually just drop down and ignore these if you want, but nah. Hit them in the back of the head with some boulders. You never know, they might drop something nice. What did this one drop? I can't remember. That's smithing stone too. That will not come in handy. And uh, yeah, this is where the cave is. I'll bring it up in a moment on the map. There we go. Uh, so if that's where, the, uh, where we were overlooking. We went through the village, over the side, and then uh, to the tunnel. Gale Tunnel. Now the only reason we are coming into this tunnel is for the Moon Veil weapon. You may want to use it. It does fit our build. Um, you may prefer it. That's all it is. It's a, kata a magic katana. Um, so I'm going to use it. Oh, not, I'm not going to use it. Um, but you may want to. So you do have to jump down this tunnel. There's also a bunch of smithing stone fours down here as well. Uh, now I do know that we don't have smithing stone threes yet. Uh, I I will acknowledge this at the beginning of the next video. Um, I'd already recorded this before. You'll notice at the end of this video I'll go and check what we need. Um, so anybody who is using smithing stones... Um, I could tell you now where the location is, we can get some, but I'll show you in the next video. So there is a, a smithing tunnel northeast of uh, Ray Lucaria in the lakes. You can see it on the map, it's just a bl uh, black dot. If you go there there's, and go in there, it's going to be similar to this. Uh, there is a whole load of smithing stone threes in there. So if you are on that route of smithing stone as opposed to somber smithing stone, uh, you need them quicker than we do. Because it does obviously upgrade our katana, our uchi katana, but... I'm not particularly bothered about getting that up leveled. It's more about the uh, getting the staff leveled at this point. Uh, so yeah, you can go there. But in here, there's a whole bunch of smithing stones. There's one. And as we go through here, watch out for the little uh, land octopi. There is a big one in here. He's hanging off the ceiling. there so he can be if he can be a bit funny this one he does get me trapped but because they don't they're heavily armored aren't they at the side so yeah you can only really hit the front head part and unfortunately he's pushed me back into this tunnel hopefully he doesn't do the whole flapping around jumping so much so you can uh, kill him quickly but i'm just waiting for him to calm down a bit and then we'll go around and get him there we go, come on face me. I think he's not facing me at this point. I could probably use the uh, ambush shard, it would get him in the face, wouldn't it? There we go. So luckily he's not actually attacking, he's... I don't know what he's doing, he's just kind of flapping around. There you go, right. So we're coming in here, we're just going to get the, the the smithing stones. There is a weapon in here, but mainly it's the um, smithing stone falls. There was one there on the wall. It is the yellow on the wall there, you can see his one. Uh, there's the weapon in here, the cross Naginata. Uh, another somber smithing stone there as well, a four. So, yeah, handy. Quite a lot of high level stones in here. There are soldiers as well still down here, so watch out. These guys are fine, they're just kind of one shots, aren't they? There's a couple more. I'm just going to run up here, and there is two. There are two. There are two short soldiers, should I say? But one there, and there's one sitting on the floor. He can't quite see him from here. We'll get him afterwards. But he does alarm everybody else. The one that's sitting on the floor. So uh, he's last. 
so he's not going to be able to wake anybody else up. Another bonus smithing stone for there. He's on the floor there. So that's too late for you. you got this cracked crystal as well, which is uh, crafting, which we're not going to use. Gold pickle foul foot. And then there's just one more on the way out here. There, underneath. And then uh, we'll carry on. So this is a, actually quite a weird tunnel because it actually links East Limgrave and um, Kalid entirely. You can, you, we will be opening opening a door. Uh, you can't get through from East Limgrave until you've been through from Kalid. You, that, it's locked from one side, and this is the side you can open it from. Uh, if you go down there early, Alexander, you know, the, the cuphead guy, the big pot guy, he'll be there. Um, he won't be there now because we moved from this side round, but we're going to see him later on, actually. So uh, he's going to help us with a certain fight. Well, actually, two more fights. So this is it. We've made it through the tunnel. There's one more here. And then there's another one through this door. So this door will be locked from the other side. But you can get to this side from East Limgrave. Another smithing stone there. And a grace point. So that's the kind of second entrance, this one. And now, uh, yeah, we're going to go in and fight the boss, which is the Magma Worm. We haven't fought one of those yet. They are, I wouldn't say common, but there's more than one in the game. There's at least three I've fought, there's probably more, I'm not thinking, there's probably, there's definitely more, I just can't remember where they are. Uh, yeah, they look, they're, they are a dragon, actually, um, they look a lot worse than they actually are. They do have a sword, which is a bit weird, uh, and the fire attack, the main fire attack they'll do is this one, where he'll just do a big roar and then run towards you, kind of tracking you, but not really. Uh, that gives you the uh, the best opening is when you're behind him to do some damage. And when you do get going, and you're, you are obviously aiming at the head. So, yeah, that will happen. You will stagger them pretty quickly, and then you can obviously go for it. I bought the summon, and he's not doing anything that ash, is he? <laughs> he just took a load of damage and not really done anything else. Nope, not worth the chance. The casting would have been too slow on that. Wait till he's behind us. Oh no, we took damage right at the end. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, Dragonheart and the Moon Veil weapon. Uh, that's the reason we're here, in case you want to use that. So I will. it's not leveled up, obviously, so it's not fair to compare it. But it does do five more blood loss build. Um, build up, sorry. I don't know. People seem to prefer it. I don't really see the difference. It has a nice weapon art, I suppose. Oh, not weapon art, you know. <laughs> weapon skill. Um, yeah, I'd, I honestly, I just prefer this, the, the strength. I think I can actually use it at this point. Uh, maybe I'll level it up. I don't want to use the the somber smithing stones for this that I need for... For that, sorry, that I need for uh, our staff. If I've got some extras, I'll um, level it up and see if it's worth crossing. But I did check in my first playthrough... And I found that the Uchi Katana levels up more or better. So we'll see. Right, so we're going to make our run across Kaelid now. We are going to ignore a lot of things. So there are the T-Rex dogs and the big head crows that you need to worry about. Um, there are, we aren't going to really stop too much. We do get a couple of... Um, we do kill a few guys, but nothing serious. So there is a castle off to the right hand side. This is where we are now. We're going to go f get to this road and follow it south. I'm going to put a marker a bit too soon here. It's, about, it's a bit further west where we need to go. But it's along the road. And I'm going to ride that way. Yeah, a castle there. Obviously if you want to go and do that you can do. I think there's a shortcut to um, the castle we're going to. I can't remember its name. <laughs> Redmain Castle. Uh, in that castle, but it's just as quick to ride across to be honest, and we're gonna get something along the way So there are the white T-Rex T-Rex dogs as well They will howl and alert all other T-Rex dogs in the area 
so watch out for those ones. I'm going to do a quick shortcut here. I, I dropped off the side too soon. I can't believe I managed to get that, but there is. I dropped off the wrong side. Uh, Sombre Smithing Stone 4 if you want that. Uh, and then I will just kill these guys because we have tactical advantage more than anything. Uh, pumpkin Head. Uh, the first shot is a freebie, obviously, but uh, the others are going to have to use Ambush Shard to be effective. And I'm going to kill the whole load. I actually do get a random drop of a Smithing Stone 3 here. It's not guaranteed, but you may get it as well. Quite a few of these actually have the yellow eyes, which means they take more damage and do more damage. No, this one does. And I can't reach him. <laughs> He's stuck. Okay, what do we get? Ruin fragments. The Michaela's Lily you will definitely get. Uh, Redan's Soldier Greaves, Smithing Stone 2, uh, Smithing Stone 3, Sanctuary Stone. They may, that's all from uh, the pumpkin head, I reckon. So this is where we are now. We're just trying to get to this road. Now, on the road, you kind of want to follow it, but not follow it. You don't want to go onto the road because there are some enemies that uh, shoot a load of kind of darts out of their back at you, and they're horrendous. You can just see one in the distance. So just kind of follow the road, but don't follow it. Just run down the side of it so you don't have to deal with them because they will shoot things after you. And then just keep heading south and look out for a grace point. I will show you the map of exactly where it is. It's just over here, I think. Is it here? No, I tell a lie. It all looks so bloody similar here. <laughs> is it here? It's here. There it is. This is just a midway point. So we'll show you where we are. We will get the map. It's We're on the way to getting the map as well. So yeah, it's, it was like I said, it was a bit more west than my marker. But it is along the road. And when you find that grace point, we're now going to go and do the, the Dragon Cathedral. Don't go down the side here. There is a dragon. There he is. We don't want to fight him. Oh, we don't have to, so we're not going to. We're going to go around the side. But he's supposed to be protecting this uh, dragon cathedral. Now don't go through the main door either. There's a soldier that will come through the main door. We don't have to want to have to fight him. So if you just come around the side here, the left hand side, there is a grace and a big hole. So we don't have to bother bother with him. So it's the same, We you may remember we went to the Dragon Communion Church a long while back. Uh, this is the same thing, but better, basically. We, we can turn in Dragon Hearts to get rewards, and there is one we are going to get from here later on. And it is a legendary incantation. Right, there is a, there he is, the Big Head Crow. He will spot you once you go down here for this Golden Seed. So we're just going to get rid of it. They are actually really easy to kill, especially from a distance with what we've got. There it is. There's a golden seed dead ahead. There's the map over to the left. And there is a dragonfly that's going to start harassing me in a minute. So they are quite weak, these crows, but they are really, really strong, uh, as in the damage output. <laughs> Do I get him? No. Do I leave him? I can't remember if I got him or not. No, I do get him. I mean, come on, I'm switching. I hate the dragonflies in this game. He didn't even give me a dragonfly head. Anyway, I'm going to drop down. And then we're going to follow. There's actually another road here. That crow there won't see you. He does have his back to you. But this is the, the castle we're heading to afterwards. So watch the crow, and we're just going to get the golden seed now, just in case you need it. But we will come back down here uh, later on. Golden seed, and then we're going to head north on the same road and get the map, finally. Just 
just erase this marker and then look out for the map it's on the corner on the t-junction so that's Kalid all oh, that's it it's a big red mass of crows and dogs and poison swamp <laughs> that we don't need to do too much in thankfully uh, that's why we're just kind of skirting around the edges and doing what we need to do uh, merchant here he sells stone so key so I'll just grab it it's quite an expensive one four grand Jesus um, we might as well just grab it we've got, we should have more than enough uh, runes to do so and now I'm going to do a teleport I'm actually going to teleport to Celia Crystal Tunnel so this is the tunnel that we came out of when we got the uh, the staff we're using the meteorite staff um, we're just going to teleport back here and go the opposite way mainly because it's just a bit quicker to get into Celia itself which is this town it's one of those poison guys there is a dog down here we should see it there it is rotten stray we're actually going to get the rotten stray ashes which aren't too bad actually And then just over here is a grace point. So we will be back in Celia later on, uh, which is the town we're about to go into, because we do need to open it up. But it, there's a, you'll see the seal in a moment, and then there's a whole puzzle to open the seal up, uh, and then it leads up to another area, which is where a, a certain legendary spell is. But we can't get the legendary spell yet, so we're not going to. We need um, It's part of a storyline with Selen, the, the lady, so we can't do that yet. So we'll come back here. I'm just trying to level up at this point. Put those extra points in. I just wanted to check where I am. So I'm able to use that staff now. I'm at 60. Nine of it is actually artificial on my intelligence. Uh, so I will keep going up. Uh, Celia. So I'm going to ride. There's loads of invisible enemies here. So I'm just going to ride through them. Left and then up the stairs. And this is the main seal here I was talking about. We need to break this seal by going into the towers here uh, and lighting some lamps. So I'm just coming up here to grab the golden seed for now in case you want it. And then don't teleport back to the smoldering church. I do realise as I press it that this is the wrong one. We actually want the village. There, the balcony. And then we're going to ride north this time. So follow the road for now, the Erd Tree, and head towards the tower. That is the tower for Radan's rune. Go around these, we don't want to bother with those. Uh, the tower for Radan's rune. I'm not going to go there myself once we have the rune, uh, but that's how that's his tower. You do actually need to climb up the side of it, as opposed to going up the middle of it. You need to go on the external of this tower. So there's a crystal lizard here. I'm just going to shoot it. Get Whirl of Flame. Uh, you can see there's dogs there. I didn't want to deal with them, <laughs> basically. You can see there is a Grace, which we are going to go on light. The place we're actually going to is Dragon Barrow. Uh, it's, like I said, it's basically Northern Kaelid, but it's called something separate, so it has its own map. Uh, there are some white dogs, there's one around this corner, yeah he's over there, who will howl and wake everyone else up, this is where I am. Come on, whistle we go. So we're looking for a little jump across, a little. there's a little point where you can jump across the, the big ravine, and that's what we're looking for. So if this dog spots you, just keep riding, don't worry about it, keep going, keep going, along this side. And then jump across the gap where it's at its narrowest, which is here. And you are safe. I'm just going to check. I don't know follow. Probably could just kill them from there, but just in case they jump across, I didn't want to uh, chance it. Uh, and then we're going to head up here and uh, get this grace and the map. So there are a lot. It's called Dragon Barrow. There are a lot of dragons here. We're not going to fight. Well, actually, technically, we are going to fight one, but it doesn't fight back. So it's not really a fight. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to go round and get the map. Try and keep you up to date with where we are. Because it is a big area that all looks very similar, this place. Just follow the kind of road. 
and you'll get to the map. And the, the, you can see there's a lot of water ahead of me. There's a drag. I think there's actually two dragons in that bit. So this is the map. This is Radan's tower here. Uh, we're at, you actually need to climb the outside of it, which you would do by going up there and jumping across and doing this whole thing, climbing the branches, etc. Uh, but yeah, there's a dragon, two dragons. We're actually going to drop down and underneath the tower because there is a smithing stone, uh, somber smithing stone nine down here. We only need one of them, and to get the nine is at this point is uh, not, I wouldn't say, I don't know, helpful really, we don't need it yet, but as soon as we get an 8 we can go from 9 and then hopefully on to 10 quite quickly as well also got a rune arc and some arteria leaves and things like that, but it was the somber smithing stone we were after and now we're going to head into dragon country and just keep riding, whatever happens just keep going try and dodge them if you can they are quite obvious but then at the same time uh, they are quite camouflaged so we're going to head down this sort of road here towards this church here that's what the route we're going now trying to avoid dragons as we go so you can just kind of make the road out there's a dragon there so I'm going to try and give him a bit of a wide berth, but we're heading towards the flaming wall. So once you see the flame, there it is, you know you're heading in the right direction, and then you want to hop over it or through it. And that's the dragon we're fighting, that thing there. Not that it wakes up, there's a dragon here, I don't think he wakes up. But you want to just keep following the wall all the way up to the east. And there is a grace at the end of it. Now that big dragon doesn't wake up, but we are oh, kind of awake, but it doesn't move, but we're going to kill it. It takes an extremely long time to kill it. It's got a lot of health. So I'm just going to refresh the area in case any dragons were following us. Uh, you will hear dragon action as you fight this thing. Uh, you should not get attacked. I, I've done this three times, I've not been attacked. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go into this little crook, his leg here, and just keep hitting him. You'll see the damage. <laughs> so this is where we are. This is Greyol, uh, the dragon. He's going to give us five dragon hearts, loads of uh, runes, and um, the ability to dr uh, buy his incantation from the cathedral. So that's why we're doing this. So you can see there's not much damage happening here, but the weapon we have does have a bleed uh, effect. So you watch the health. There you go. Huge chunk of health there, just gone. 13,000 or something like that health uh, so just keep doing that just keep attacking I'm moving forward in time it takes like I don't know like five ten minutes something like that it takes quite a long time so um, just keep attacking into him uh, using the weapon and you'll get through eventually and uh, you'll get five dragon hearts from him and the ability you can see there it says there's a new power available draconic power that's what we're after uh, we'll go and purchase that from that cathedral uh, later on. But first, we're going to just run into this tower that we're at. I'm just going to spend what we have. Let's spread it out a bit. Endurance, mind, vigor, uh, a bit of intelligence, of course. But yeah, we're, we're at the point where intelligence is... Yeah, it's it's pretty high. You don't Going past 70, there might not be much point apart from a little bit more damage but yeah we can start going into health more and as the game is getting more difficult we'll start going into more health and endurance and stuff so yeah it'll all balance out it was kind of a race to intelligence to 60 at least maybe 70 if you want to use uh, Renala's moon and then uh, we'll get leveled up everything else from there right so there's two bats and then you've got the singing bats here that do poison don't worry if you do get poisoned it shouldn't be too much of a problem but just quickly run for this ladder. It's not worth trying to fight those those grey bats. Um, they are re they've got quite a lot of health. Just run past them. If you like, I said, if you do get poisoned, don't worry. Just fight through it with um, healing. It's quite slow. Or you can use a, a a bolus if you have one. Or you could just craft one. But we're not going to be here very long. So I'm just going to uh, pick up that medallion half. That means we can use the lift to get to the uh, the later ed area of the, the game. But we're actually not going to use the lift. We're going to go through a shortcut anyway. So we don't need it. We're going to drop down. There are some invisible 
enemies up there. If you take the same path, you shouldn't wake any of them up as you go across there. The blue soldier guys, just check behind you if that's the case. And then, uh, yeah, grab this golden rune, kill that rat, and then we're going to jump across this gap here. Let's get this out of the way. And jump across. Now, there is another small rat and, an, and a large rat. So try and get the small one's attention first. And then you want to get the large attention. Now, you can use... Um, Ambush shard through walls like that. But this rat's pretty quick, so you're not going to be able to kill it that way. Just dodge through it, drop down, grab our legendary talisman we're here to get, which is Radagon Sword Seal. Yes, I will be using that. But mainly, it is one of the ones that we need for uh, the trophy. Uh, yeah, dodge through the rat's attacks, and you should be able to get, the, uh, get up the ladder before it gets to you. If you die, don't worry, we've already done what we came for. Um, I can't teleport out. I want to teleport out rather than uh, run back for it because it's going to be easier. But the rat's obviously aggroed, so I'm not going to be able to do that and because he's directly below me. It's you're gonna your lock on will keep dropping off. Yeah, I should just stick to pebble really. So you might need to keep angling it so you can get the lock on. And there we go. So yeah, if you don't move, you should be okay to teleport out. So yeah, that was a legendary um, talisman. Obviously one that we need. Now we're going to go and get a legendary incantation. Greyol's Roar. So Greyol was the big dragon. Uh, I'm just going to go and get that. So watch the soldier. And then come to this uh, communion thing here. And uh, it should be there. Greyol's Roar. Uh, legendary incantation. It costs you three Dragon hearts, obviously, we did just get five, and that's all we need from this place. But well, that's why we lit it up earlier on, so we could teleport back. So, we do have Radagon Scar Seal, you can't stack them, you can only have the Scar or Saw Seal on, not both of them. Uh, the damage increase is obviously still a thing, but the stats go up even further, so uh, yeah. It's I I think they're worth it, but if you if you are really struggling with damage and things, then obviously don't use them. Right, so we're doing this same path. I did just kind of show you the path we're going. We're going towards the the castle now. I will kill this crow again because I don't want him to follow us. There is it is night time by the way, so there is one of those night uh, knights down there. You can see him on the horse. Uh, we will be avoiding him as well. If you want to fight him, go for it. There's the knight from the uh, cathedral. He doesn't usually follow you out, but there he is. He's just <laughs> kind of wandering around, looking what I was doing. wasn't even aggroed. So we're going to try and stick to the road, but it may not be possible because there are quite a few dogs down here as well. So we did get the golden seed earlier. If you didn't, then obviously grab that on the way. Uh, dogs, I'm going to try and stick kind of from the left. There are some soldiers down here. There's the white one, so he's going to howl and wake everybody up. They've all got red eyes, so it's time to get the hell out of here. Uh, just keep going. Stick to the side. Watch out for here. There is a gap. It is a bit deceiving. It looks like you're going to be okay, but you do need to jump on the higher bit. There are some soldiers, so they'll start fighting. But all we want to do is make it to this grace. Now, um, the situation we're in here, where we've kind of started off the the festival, uh, there are no enemies in this castle. There, there usually are enemies in this castle, but because of the kind of story mode, storyline we've gone through, there are none. So if you go through this teleport, it would be taken inside the castle. We don't actually have to go through the whole thing. There's some lions down there. We don't want to fight two of them. And this whole thing. So there's no enemies here at all. You can't open any of the doors or anything like that. It's all weirdly shut off. It's quite strange actually that this happens. But we're in the middle of a festival. So I'm just going to come in here and light this grace for later on. And then I'm going to actually teleport back out. And ride across the bridge. It says impassable but I don't know. I'd, I'd argue against that. And we're just going to get a smithing stone six. There's just a single one. 
but it's it's easy to get there's no enemies or anything so I might as well go and grab it right around here so there is another way in this castle um, if you when you get to the gates at the top if you go to the right that we're actually going to go down and continue around the side of the castle uh, there's a whole graveyard around there there's a, a crystal lizard some bats uh, you go up a ladder and then you go through doors uh, I think there's a smithing stone 5 up there um, but we're not going to go and get that now we'll just leave it but a 6 is quite high so we'll grab that it's nice and quick and simple this one and then we'll teleport back in and we'll uh, we'll go and do it. We'll go and take on Radan with his tiny horse. <laughs> He's so goofy. He <laughs> uh, does have a name as well. It's like Rodney or something. I can't remember what it was now. Um, yeah, if you speak to this, well, if you interact with this woman, she'll give you a polite bow, a gesture. Uh, Blythe is here. So speak to him. Make sure you do this. Uh, exhaust his dialogue. Alexander's also here, the pot guy, so speak to him, exhaust his dialogue. And then we are ready to rock and roll. So if we head up these stairs and speak to this guy at the top, he will give you the option to start the festival proper. So go, yes, we are ready. A whole cutscene will start. I'm not going to show you though, I'm going to skip it. It's definitely worth watching though. And then he will do a big kind of war cry, and you'll get the heartening cry gesture. Not that we need any of these gestures. What have we got? One, two. The next thing we get is a gesture as well. We don't actually need any of them, but uh, yeah, you, you may want that gesture he's just done. So there you go. Oh no, sorry, the, the next thing we get is a smithing stone. It's on the way to the gesture. There's a smithing stone in this uh, kind of chapel area. I'm stuck on a chair. <laughs> so, smithing stone six, and then we are actually going to go into Radan's fight here to get this gesture. Uh, but I died, and it was I thought it was actually quite a funny death, so um, I left it in. I do get a gesture as well, because I show everything, I kind of have to leave it in. So we take the, the lift down, we're under a stake of America now, and then we need to use this teleport to get across to Radan's fight, which is one hell of a, a thing, really. This is actually really impressive, I've got to say. It's not a particularly good fight, but the whole situation is amazing. So if you, Radan's in the distance there, so if you walk towards this... Thing here, he'll hit that and not you. Uh, so as you get all these out, I see this dodge is terrible, <laughs> and then he kills me in one, which was uh, quite bad. But I do get the casual greeting, which is from the summon. So the thing with this fight is there are a horrendous amount of summons. It's a war, basically, it's a whole festival. Uh, so we'll start this again. We'll try again, shall we? Uh, so I do get him on my second attempt. If you were wondering, he's not difficult. Uh, for us, if you're melee, I, 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 I have no way I can help you, I'm sorry. Uh, rely on the summons, I don't know, but he is really powerful. Uh, so again, walk towards this, he will hit it with his arrow. And then you, there's three here. Lionel, Lionheart, dodge, that's a better dodge, there we go. So yeah, whenever there's a bit of things like this, it's going to keep you safe. There's Alexander, bring him in. Uh, Okina is there. So you should be able to dodge it quite easily, his attacks, really. Just keep an eye on him. As you see it come towards you, dodge. And then about now, there's Blythe, get him in. About now, he's going to do his arrows. Uh, they track you quite well. And then, they, then he'll go into his proper attacks at this point. So we've got a few more. There's some of Dan's spear. I didn't mark them. But there's some there. There's patches. It's actually pretty hilarious what patches do take note of what happens on the bottom of the screen so you got summoned patches there 
So if you head up to the top, this peak, this highest bit, in a moment, there's another one here. I can't get it. Yeah, I did get it. Uh, if you head up here, there's going to be some more summons during phase two. So kind of stay up here and away from Radan is what you want to do. There, you see Patches return to his world. He just ran off. <laughs> he didn't die. He just ran off. There, because it says that if they die, they die. Uh, so yeah, you want to stay away from Radan as much as possible because he does some pretty intense um, attacks. And he does have his own, like this. Ooh, that was close. Not dodged well at all. And just, yeah, you can see his little horse. He's riding, he's actually riding around on a horse. And just keep attacking through with the um, rock sling from a distance. And he will move into a phase two pretty quickly. Once you get some damage on him. Is he going for it? Yeah, who? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah, there he goes. So he's off in the sky. Uh, at this point, drink your um, tears if you still have this bubble. Don't worry if you don't. More than likely won't hit you. But just ride around on the horse because he comes flying back in again. And you should find that there are some summons that will appear on top of this hill now. So you've got some more help. So bring all those in and then move away again. Yeah, like that is <laughs> horrendous. How do you do this as melee? I don't know. So he has his own rock sling. They just kind of sit there. So I was I was backing away now because I didn't want to get, obviously get hit by them. But he doesn't actually throw them. But he, he can throw them. That you need to worry about. is That's why we're keeping the distance. Is he will, he will sort of pull you towards him. It's Gravitas. It's what we use. Um, or still have equipped anyway. We don't use it so much. And he'll try and slam down on you. But again, just keep your distance and use rock sling. There's so many enemy uh, helpers there, should I say, to keep his attention. You don't need to be near him. And then kill him, and you'll get Shard, Bar Shard Bearer Radan Trophy, and his Remembrance, and his Great Rune, which we're not going to activate. And then you'll get another cutscene, which I'm going to skip. And it's actually a pretty cool cutscene as well, definitely watch that. Uh, so it's this, the stars that he's been sort of repelling have all come in to... It's not Earth, is it? Where are we? Anyway, one hits the ground. So this is moving the stars ending on more. So speak to Blythe. Although this is mandatory, you need to fight Radan, but that's kind of what's going on. Yeah, exhaust Blythe's um, dialogue and then come down to Alexander and exhaust his dialogue as well. We'll be seeing you again, Alexander. He's going to come in really helpful. In, he's unbelievably helpful the next time we see him uh, and then I'm going to so obviously do the grace point uh, we do have some leveling to do where do we go intelligence bit in health but yeah let's get a bit of health up there we go now there is a tomb just head north I'm going to actually skip it's a really long ride it's about a minute it's just head north towards the cliffs follow the water's edge uh, there is a, like a lake or sea off to the right hand side of me. Just follow the edge of that and it's right at the very point here. So I did skip but all I've done is head north because it is quite a long ride. You obviously don't need to see all that. And there is going to be a door here. Now this place, there is something we need here. It's one of the legendary things. But War Dead Catacombs. It's quite high level in here. It's it's really high level. So I'm just going to run in and grab a grave war, grave glove wart six. If you're using grave glove warts, there is a six here for you. Uh, but all these enemies are fighting each other. Obviously, we're not we're not going to bother with it. They shouldn't bother with you, honestly. If you just run up the side, it's actually further when you go deeper in that the enemies start attacking you, and they will one shot you. Even if you're a melee build, good armor and things like that, you're more than likely going to get one shot. So we'll come back here later. We don't need to get what's in here yet. So don't worry. We'll, we'll come back once we're a bit higher level. And we can uh, withstand a hit or two. But we just wanted to mark that so we can teleport back later. I need to go outside to teleport. I need to walk away a bit. There we go. Uh, now I'm going to teleport back. Not there. I'm going to teleport back to the castle. So go to the chamber. 
back to Redmayne Castle and then through here again and that guy that started the uh, the fights off he where he was up there he's not there anymore don't go that way he's not there come on you know this he's in the <laughs> he's sat in here on a chair the chair that I got stuck on so I want to speak to him exhausted dialogue he's just going to say, say the festival's done blah blah blah, blah can move on so make sure he's repeating himself and then we're going to teleport away back to the same one again and we're going to go and do a boss fight now this boss fight is, it can be pretty tough honestly uh, but bringing a summon right away I do die, I had, did die once doing this as well um, so yeah that was the the merge there, you didn't see it did you? <laughs> but bringing a summon and there's two bosses in one here so you've got a misbegotten warrior uh, hopefully he doesn't ag aggro on you so hopefully he runs in and uh, attacks and gets his attention, he's actually really easy once his attention is taken away because uh, you can stagger him pretty quickly. What you want to do is quickly get rid of the Misbegotten Warrior because we have a Crucible Knight to deal with. So that's him downed. Uh, Crucible Knights have a huge shield, hit extremely sh hard and are not so good against Ambush Shard. Ambush Shard doesn't do so well against them. So they do have a really set pattern. They are quite easy to, to learn. That stomp you want to move out of the way of. They are slow and methodical in their their attacks. The reason I died, I actually got stuck in the tent over there while I was rolling. So you can use Pebble. It does go through his shield now and again. Uh, ambush Shard is not so good. He seems to be able to block it from the back. I don't know why. It's not fair, really. That was a bad dodge, or timing, should I say. But yeah, they, they may seem really imposing at the start. But uh, he's actually not too bad once you get his moves down get his distance so that's the end of his combo usually the kind of poke that that's the way you get a little bit of time to do something right back away eventually he'll do a slap stamp on the floor fly towards you just dodge underneath him and that gives you time to do something at least whatever that may be i think i accidentally used uh two uh crimson tears by accident uh when i wanted cerulean tears so he does do when he's done the stamp he does start doing the tail attack as well. Just uh yeah, just kind of try and break through his shield. There's no need to um to you know be near him or you know be aggressive. Just back away from him and just do that little bit of damage through his shield be it with ambush shard or pebble. And then eventually he will open up and he will give you that chance to attack like that and then that's the best time to attack dodge through it and then attack straight off the back of it as long as you got misbegotten warrior out of the way this is not too bad just take your time with it and learn his moves sometimes when he does the fly through he might do a, a double tail swipe uh, that does have quite a range it's quite rare that he seems to do it but he, yeah, be aware, if he does do one swipe, keep going and dodging backwards and keep uh, dodging away from him. And there we go. Ruins great sword. That's why we did this. It's a legendary weapon. If you can't do this, just note it. Make a note of it. Come back later. It's not going anywhere. If you're really struggling with it, make a note. Come back once we're leveled. Because we, we know what our level is. 61. We're going to get into the hundreds. So... Yeah, come back later if you're struggling, but you should be okay, I reckon. As long as you get rid of the, the Misbegotten Warrior, you'll be fine. Uh, you get some runes there for a bit of leveling. And as far as Caleb goes, we're, we're kind of done. We do need to come back for a couple of things, but nothing particularly dangerous. Uh, I do run back here. I'm just going to go see the smith to see what I need. This is what I said at the beginning about you needing potentially needing smithing stone threes. I will show you at the beginning of the next video exactly where I mean. Uh, we still need three, but I'm not worried about getting them. What we need is obviously uh, the Somber Smithing Stone 6, which we will get eventually. That's what we're after. Right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.